you. Okay. No skin, no EKG. Is he even gonna survive the burn? You got a date or something? 40% of his body. If the burns unit can prevent an infection, his body will regenerate maybe 10%. Surgeons will do 20 or so rafts. Six months in this room, he'll end up with a series of nasty scars. Maybe some pain, but he'll live. Unless his heart shuts down, because we can't figure out what's causing the low potassium and tachycardia. We need help from a Belgian dog named Eindhoven. He's dead. While he was alive, he invented a little ditty called the galvanometer. Where do we get one? Go to any electronic store that's been open since before 1905. There's a good chance they got one in the corner in the basement. Plug it in. You plug it in. Fine. Give me the cord. Works. Prominent U waves. No, a bit of T wave. There was chemia. Q wave normal. That's not good. Chase, turn it off. Turn it off. What's happening? What is that? See who's getting here. Stop that. Stop that. Subarachnoid space. Can you get it? I think so. Put the probe back where it was so I can see the wire. We're looking for the bleeding the Look when I get there. I'm flying blind without a contrast CT here. I need to talk to him. House, you can't wake up a burn victim to play 20 questions. It's torture. You won't remember. He's gonna be an extraordinary- God, day. you're good. You're putting me to sleep. I know he's gonna be in pain. I know you disapprove. I'm his attending. Wake him up. God. I'm Dr. House. It hurts. It's gonna get a lot worse, so answer fast. Before the accident, did you experience any numbness or tingling in your fingers? You got burnt. It's healing. I need an answer. It really hurts. Any tingling in your arms or legs? Do something. I can't. Adam, you gotta listen to me. Did you feel anything? I, I pissed my pants and then I don't remember. I, now what's wrong with our patient? He's depressed. He told you that when you woke nope. up? Told me he pissed his pants and blacked out. It's not diagnostic of depression. Lack of appetite, isolating yourself. Uncontrollable urination and blacking out are good predictors of what? Seizure. Which means the seizure he had when you tested his heart was at least his second seizure. So what? Depression and seizures aren't correlated. No. But you know what is? Depression and anti-depression medicine. Talk scream is clean. Yeah, but you know how much crap he's got in his system for dealing with those burns. The guy can have the Spanish Armada floating through his bloodstream. We wouldn't know about it until they started firing cannons. Antidepressants have been known to cause seizures in kids, but not orgasms. This is a brain in trouble. This is a brain with too much serotonin. The serotonin affects mood, appetite. It doesn't cause a brain to shut down. Antidepressants fake brains into thinking they have more serotonin than they actually do. Every 10 million or so cases sets off a chain reaction, produces too much, enough to fry itself. If Adam has serotonin storm, it's deadly. But treatable. Cyprate have to do. Unless he doesn't have serotonin storm. He could just as easily have too much dopamine as serotonin, but if it's dopamine, this hyperheptidine will kill him. Where are you going? I'm gonna talk to the kid again. He seems nice. You can't. Why? Did he say he doesn't like me? The anesthesiologist told the parents what you did. Everyone's a tattletale. Is 
your son depressed. No, who are you? I'm Dr. House. Oh, you're the idiot who thought- I heard him it. screaming all the way down the hallway. If I didn't wake him up, I wouldn't have learned what caused the crash. I think he had a seizure. This wasn't my fault. But if you hadn't had the brain problem, you wouldn't have the burns. On the other hand, if you hadn't put him on the ATV, you also wouldn't have the burns. You can debate your personal responsibility after I leave. I need to wake him up again. I need to know if he's taking antidepressants. He's not. <laughs> he's the happiest kid I know. But you don't know, do you? He's my son. Mm, that's sort of my point. At 16, they'll tell anyone anything except their parents. Adam talks to us about everything. Yeah, I know about the pot and the cocaine. There was never cocaine. What? You sure? You having him followed? He told us when he got drunk at a party. He told us when he started having sex. 16. Way to go. He told us when he cheated on a math test. He told us when his girlfriend cheated on him. He doesn't hide anything from us. But if he was depressed... He'd tell us. We don't judge. He's not depressed, we're sure. Bet his life on it, sure. Just hypothetically. Yeah. What are you doing? You can't come in here. You're not sterile. Don't touch our son, we told you. Seriously, millions of bacteria, microbes on you. He'll die of sepsis. If you go in there. I think he's gonna wake him up again. I know he is. House, you can't do this. Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. Relax. Are they gonna sue us? If I'm right, I save his life. If I'm wrong, he's dead no matter what I do. Either way, how much have I really hurt them? Leave him alone! You're not sterile. Do you want to kill the kid? Give me this orange. No pain, no gain. Hey, you gotta stop this. You're right. He's not depressed. Yeah, sure. I'm not letting you go till you give me that syringe. What's that on his wrist? A burn. Why on his wrist? Why not on his wrist? His back, his torso, everything's a mess. Forearms are clean, except right there. So what? It's a perfect circle. So a drop of burning gasoline fell on his wrist, a screw from the ATV. <sighs> Maybe. Why are you torturing him? Does your son smoke? I'd kill him. <sighs> so, we can talk to you about sex, crack, anything except cigarettes. He has a cigarette burn on his wrist. Also, a fading nicotine stain between two fingers. Bad news, your son has a filthy, unhealthy habit. Good news, he's trying to quit. Bad news, the quitting's killing him. Good news, I can cure him. Bad news. No, nope, that's the end of it. Quitting smoking can kill. No smoke meds or antidepressants. The crappy ones you get over the internet. They're loaded with whatever antidepressants they can get cheap. And since mommy and daddy obviously didn't take it to a pediatrician. Sorry, I was wrong about him being depressed. Treat him.